What's going on guys, Briar Rabbit here, and this is Weekend Update Monday Edition. This is the series where I talk about what's going on in my life, gaming or otherwise. So normally I record this video on Friday and post it on Friday night, maybe on Saturday morning. This week I was just too damn busy. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I am getting married in May. It's just one short month away. Uh, we are really busy with the wedding planning stuff right now, uh, be it cakes, uh, florists, DJs, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it just requires a lot of time right now. I'm not gonna bore you with the details of it, but you might have noticed the slowdown of content on my channel. It's not due to lack of passion or lack of wanting to post or lack of ideas. Uh, the ideas are flowing like crazy. Just can't get the time right now to post. So hopefully once uh, we kind of get some more of this wedding stuff figured out, uh, the content will kind of raise back up to the regular pace that you've been accustomed to over the last year or so. Uh, so the game you're watching right now is Steam World Dig A Fistful of Dirt, and I'm having a great time with this game. This is the PS4 version. The nice thing about the PS4 version is for about 10 bucks, I believe it's $9.99 on the PlayStation Store right now, you get both the PlayStation 4 version and the PS Vita version, which I think is a really nice feature. It's one of my favorite things about the PlayStation Store is having those cross-buy games. So if you're playing the PlayStation 4 version, you can be playing the PS Vita version as well. I don't know if this game is cross-play compatible, meaning if my save games goes between both, uh, but hopefully it is. I, I haven't checked it out yet. I do really like this game. As you can see from the gameplay, it's sort of a combination between uh, exploration, mining game, and like a Castlevania-ish game, uh, and I really like it. I have always been a big fan of those kind of Metroidvania type games, uh, kind of with the exploring and the jumping around and the combat. And in this game, you start off, you don't really know what's going on. The story is kind of uncovered as you dig deeper into the uh, world, literally. Uh, and I like the story that is uncovered. It's fairly interesting, and it's got a lot of charm, uh, which to me adds a lot of flavor to the game. So I'm really liking this game. If you're interested in it, it's available on the PlayStation Store for about $9.99. I also think it's available on the 3DS. It's definitely available on uh, PC, I think on Steam. Uh, it might even have a Wii version. It's kind of one of those games that's been around for a while. It's kind of on a lot of platforms. Uh, but I'm really having fun with the PlayStation 4 version. I cannot speak it to the other versions of the game. So today is Monday, and last night was Sunday, and we recorded the uh, 16th episode of the Beastly Thought Show. And I can't believe that we're already at episode 16. That show, to me, has become one of my favorite parts of the week. Uh, we had Not Too Nerdy on, we had Cod Made Player on, we had 9 to 5 Gamer on, and of course we had the Beastly Gamer on, uh, and it was an absolute blast. I think that that show as everybody who's involved in it kind of gets more and more comfortable, just keeps getting better because instead of having like a couple of guys who kind of remain silent throughout the whole show, everybody's talking, everybody's contributing, and everybody's voice and opinion gets heard and it kind of melds into a conversation. Sometimes a bit of an argument, sometimes we're all in agreement, but what we always have is a conversation that I think really not only benefits my understanding of games in general, but also kind of helps me see other points of view. And I am really enjoying that show. And I think it's gonna get better and better. So definitely check that out if you haven't seen it already. And definitely check out the channels of Not Too Nerdy, 9to5Gamers, and uh, Cod Made Player, Beastly Gamer, everybody who's always involved in that show. You know, the channels are really great. I have come to appreciate those guys and start watching their channels on my own just because I can't wait to talk to them about what they're talking about in their videos on the Beastly Thoughts show. So definitely check out all their videos. Normally during the weekend update, I'll talk about what I'm gonna be doing over the weekend. Obviously the weekend has already passed. I played very little video games this weekend, uh, but I do have big plans for this week. I definitely wanna jump into Titanfall. I'm really on the edge of picking up the Xbox 360 version of Titanfall. Now, I joked a little bit on the Beastly Thoughts show about, you know, being able to just jump into 360 version and just pwn everybody because, you know, they just got the game and I've had it for a month. 
But what it really is, is I'm really curious about what the quality of that game is gonna be. So I'm really interested in picking it up. So let me know down in the comments if you guys are interested in seeing the Xbox 360 version of that game on this channel. I'll really be interested to know what your opinion is. I'm also planning on playing a little Thief this afternoon. I'm actually really excited about that. So I've also talked about how that game kind of got boring to me, but I kind of reached a place in that game that I'm really excited about. I'm toward the end, I'm interested to see what's gonna happen in the story, and kind of, I've got all the play mechanics worked out, and the, the character Garrett, like the main character in that game, uh, to me, he has a lot of these kind of abilities that have made that game fun. So, uh, that game has been kind of an uneven roller coaster ride for me, uh, but right now, I'm excited to play it, so you'll be seeing that that Let's Play continue uh, very in the very near future. I'll also be playing some Call of Duty Ghosts this week. Uh, I have played the Devastation Map Pack on the Xbox One. My initial thoughts of it, I shared already in a video. I wasn't super impressed with it. I actually prefer the PlayStation 4 version of that game just because of the PlayStation 4 controller. I've never really gotten comfortable with the Xbox One controller in Call of Duty, but for some reason in Titanfall, I find it just fine. Uh, so I'm not really sure what the difference is between Titanfall and Call of Duty using the Xbox One controller. It's something I really gotta explore more. I'm hoping that some third-party controllers will come out for the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 for that matter. Uh, just to test them out. I really want to see like a, a Razer Sabertooth type controller for the Xbox One. I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on a scuff controller. Uh, all sorts of these like kind of you know, third party accessories that we're waiting for, I'm really excited to get my hands on. So Call of Duty, there will be some Call of Duty on this channel. The Ripper has been released for the PlayStation 4. If you haven't checked out the Ripper yet, you definitely gotta check that gun out. It's a ton of fun. And with the new uh, upgrades to the submachine guns, I think that that game has gotten a little more fast paced because submachine guns are now a much more viable platform, a more viable weapon choice in that game. And I think that makes the game a little more fast paced, especially on the smaller maps. Uh, and especially in the new Devastation DLC because the new DLC has a lot more like tight corridors and kind of uh, blind corners. So SMGs are gonna be really valuable in the Devastation DLC. Uh, and I think that when people start running and gunning with SMGs, it gets the campers a little more careful, right? Uh, they're less likely to just kind of sit in one spot for the entire game and camp to get kill streaks. Uh, when you have a lot of guys running around with, uh, you know, the speed perks on and SMGs, uh, it increases the flow of the gameplay and I think it gets a lot more fun. Uh, similar to the Black Ops 2 style of game. So that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.